Hi there, Rose Jacobs with you again for Calkine Media. Today we're going to ask what is PayMongo and why is it grabbing so much attention? Before we do though, just hit that bell icon at the bottom of your screen. Now, Philippines-based financial technology startup PayMongo appears to be grabbing the attention of potential investors in the United States. On Monday, February 21st, the equities markets remained closed in the US. However, PayMongo caught investors' attention as it made headlines by securing new funding. Let's find out more about this trending fintech startup. PayMongo Philippines, it's backed by Peter Thiel, an American billionaire, venture capitalist and co-founder of PayPal. Apart from Mr. Thiel, PayMongo is backed by Y Combinator, a tech startup accelerator and payments giant Stripe. Why is PayMongo Philippines catching attention? Well, PayMongo has reportedly raised US $31 million in a Series B funding round, and the total investment in the startup has catapulted to around US $46 million. Francis Plaza, the chief executive officer and co-founder of PayMongo, said that the latest funding round is a testimony of their growth. The fintech startup is expected to use the money raised to invest in its merchants. The Series B funding round investors included Jam Fund, run by Tinder co-founder Justin Mateen, and a few Philippine venture capital firms. PayMongo's existing investors include San Francisco-based Soma Capital and Global Founders Capital. So does PayMongo have an IPO plan? There's no official communication from the company about its public debut plans. It is uncertain if PayMongo will go public in future. Additionally, as the fintech startup is Philippines-based, one would have to wait and see if it will go public in the South Asian or the US equities markets. So how's PayMongo's future looking? Well, the fintech market seems to have growth potential benefiting companies in this sector. A research and markets report valued the global fintech industry at US $7,301.8 billion in 2020. And it's expected to grow at a compound annual growth growth rate of 26.9% between 21 and 2026. PayMongo works with businesses of all shapes and sizes and enables them to accept various forms of payments like online wallets and credit cards. The fintech startup is reportedly aiming to get new licenses to provide additional financial services. PayMongo allows its merchants to track customer payments in real time and getting payment receipts or screenshots is not required. As per the company website, the startup's risk engine uses more than 1,600 data points to predict and tackle fraudsters in real time. But that's a wrap for now. Please check out the website for everything you need to know, calkindmedia.com, and there you can comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thanks again for joining me.